So the next position that we're going to cover is a salter's kneeling. When would you use it? Anytime you're moving, typically, and you're having to hold long on something, and you have to get rounds on target really quickly. But speed kneeling doesn't give you any support. So a salter's kneeling gives you generally one contact point to, uh, to your body to where we can stabilize the gun a little bit, we can still quickly get the rounds off, we can gain a little support, but not the kind of support that we're really looking for um, with more traditional kneeling or more of a national, national match style. However, time is of the essence, so we're trying to find that balance. Typically, we're making movement when something happens and we immediately get our forearm and our elbow just forward of the leg and this thing stays back like Sigmund the sea monster. Now, not everybody likes this, not everybody feels comfortable in doing it, but the slight difference is that what we're not doing is taking the time to sit back and get comfortable into a better, more traditional position. Not knocking it, it's just we don't have time for it. So what we're looking at again is, if I'm having to do a quick engagement, I have to get down on the ground, I'll get that gun out, I'll gain whatever little bit of support I can, break my shots off, and then immediately get back up. every little bit of advantage you can again this isn't going to be for everybody draping that leg back sometimes it's really uncomfortable for people this is um, a technique which primarily we're running underhand because that's how we're already approaching and holding on to the gun you'll see as we get into the traditional since we have time to set up for a little bit longer range shot time and of course is very very important to that time we can do some other things that you'll see kind of switch around so again we have speed kneeling that we've talked about we have a salters kneeling which gives us a contact point to our body and ultimately what we're trying to do is create as many contact points to the earth as is as best as possible to from the gun to the body from the body to the earth is really what we're looking at so again another option for you